Hello everyone and welcome back to 2015, where despite being distracted by the colour of this dress, the players served up some absolute quality darts. If you've seen the previous editions of Darts Rewind, you know that we're running for a full season review of darts in 2015. If you're new here, bosh the like button, hit subscribe as it really helps me out and buckle up. We start the year with Gary Anderson finally ending the wait for a world title by beating the legendary Phil Taylor 7-6 to win his first world title in one of the all-time classic finals. And it's Gary! glory, glory Gary Anderson and the Alexandra Palace! Could he back that up by having another good year? Over at Lakeside, a fresh-faced Fallon Sherrick was the unlucky loser to dominant Lisa Ashton as she won her second of four world titles. And it was Scott Mitchell who won the men's title, beating Martin Adams in a deciding set. Game! Job. Hits for the second! And the 2015 Lakeside World Darts Champion! And just look what it means. January bought Q School and some big names winning tour cards. Devon Peterson, Jeffrey Dezwan, professional turned YouTuber Matthew Edgar and a certain Mr. Johnny Clayton. A busy January would end with Michael Van Gerwen winning the Masters with 112 average v Raymond Van Barneveld. Not a bad way to bounce back from his world disappointment. The UK Open was up next and a cracker of a game between MVG and Andrew Gilding. Something tells me there'd be a rematch of this in the future and the result would be different. Van Gerwen was in the mood for dancing and darting as he won this one before winning the final v Peter Wright for his second major of the year. Next up was the Premier League and a shock as Phil Taylor failed to make the playoffs for the first time. This left us with a final between MVG and Gary Anderson and Anderson would take his second Premier League title. The World Cup was next and this time heartbreak for Anderson as Scotland met Taylor and Lewis in the final. Lewis would get the decisive victory v Peter Wright to claim the title. Taylor would follow that up with a win in a deciding leg v Peter Wright to claim the Japan Masters. Taylor was starting to hit form. And good timing as Taylor went into the match play on an 8 year winning streak. And in semi-finals he would face James Wade for a place in the final and defending his 38 game winning match play streak. Well, Wade had other ideas as he beat Taylor to set up a final the MVG. In the final, Wade and MVG started steadily and shared the first 10 legs. This 107 giving Wade a 6-5 lead. Tops has not hit this yet in this match. Yes. Yes. But Van Gerwen moved up a gear to go 39 and kept Wade at arm's length to claim the match play title. Over in the BDO and Glenn Durrant was winning his first big title in the Masters v Larry Butler. This would be the springboard for Durrant to go on to become a three-time world champion. Back in the PDC and it was Grand Prix time. Remarkably, only two seeds made the quarterfinals as many of the big names fell early leaving Robert Thornton and Michael Van Gerwen. And those two made the final. And what a final it was. Van Gerwen took the opening set in quick fashion, only for Thornton to level back at one all with MVG on top. Van Gerwen missed two to go 4-3 up and Thornton took out 74 to go 4-3 up himself. MVG would take us to a deciding set where again, while sat on tops, Thornton took out a brilliant 90 to take an early set lead. Van Gerwen would miss three for a 2-1 lead and again Thornton would take his chance and in the next leg with MVG on 30, Thornton hit tops to wrap up the match and the title. A brilliant match remembered for Thornton's excellent timely finishing. Euros was next and MVG's chance to get back to winning ways and revenge on Anderson for the Premier League. But in a high quality final, Anderson was 10-7 up on a race to 11. MVG needed four on the spin. 10-7 became 10-8, then 10-9, then 10-10 before wrapping it up with 75, not allowing Anderson a single match dart. We're in the peak season now and the Grand Slam was next and MVG was in yet another final. This time v Taylor, but the run continued as Van Gerwen won yet another major final, coming out on top 16-13. World Series finals is next and MVG raced to a 4-0 lead v Peter Wright. 
but Wright fought back to take a 5-4 lead with both averaging 105. With the scores 10-9 in Wright's favour on a race to 11, Van Gerwen needed 129 to stay in it. Like a must take, bullseye! Oh, 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 a what a, a brilliant outshot leading him to take the deciding leg and yet another title. Three, double 16, that he's taken in it! Surely someone can beat him in the Players' Championship. Well, no. Van Gerwen made another final and this time it was Lewis on the wrong end of the result as Van Gerwen won 11-6 for his seventh major title of the year. He would be a huge favourite going into the Worlds. But before that, check out these two baby faces. The World Youth Final was Max Hopp v Nathan Aspinall and it was the German who took the crown. And Max Hopp of Germany is the PVC Unicorn World! And so to the Worlds and Van Gerwen's first match v Rennie Idams. You'd assume a nice comfortable victory and you'd be wrong. Van Gerwen did storm to a 2-0 lead but Idams left this 1-2-2 at the start of set 3. Oh, he followed that up with a 103 for the set before taking set 4 to tie it up at 2-2. With MVG sat on 24 for the match, Idams hit double four to go to a tiebreak. Despite the comeback, MVG kept his nerve and took out 90 to win the match. That is a win for Michael Van Gerwen. Van Gerwen would then run into his old adversary, Raymond Van Barneveld, in the last 16 in one of the all-time classic matches between two titling legends. But it was Barney who won the match with a trademark 96, and look what it means to him. Michael Van Gerwen, the odds on favorite for the world championship is out. And after Yella Klassen beat Taylor, the tournament was wide open again, but Anderson was looking good. Just incredible is the start of this tournament, really. But his first three darts in this tournament were 180. To double for a nine darter in the tournament. Treble 19 will give him another, a double 12. Yes, Gary Anderson! Yes, Gary Anderson! A nine data in a semi-final that he won 6-0 and he would face Adrian Lewis in the final. Could he get revenge for the loss in 2011? They shared the first four sets but Anderson opened up some breathing room for 5-3 after Lewis faltered. Double 12. That was the shot that won him the world title but Gary... Lewis did get back to 6-5 but Anderson had enough to get over the line to become the two-time back-to-back world champion. People often wonder how Anderson was never number one with back-to-back -back titles, and that would be the seven majors for Michael Van Gerwen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.